Welcome back to our second half hour. A man accused of a more than 20-year-old rape case in Iola made his first appearance in Wapaka County Court today. Authorities say DNA evidence reviewed in 2011 linked Glendon Gowker to the crime. Gowker was already in an Oklahoma jail and could be connected to an unsolved double murder also in Wisconsin. Fox 11's Chad Dorn has the latest for us. It was the moment Rick Togstead has been waiting years to see. I came to this one just because I wanted to see what kind of evil person would do something like this. Glendon Gowker made his first court appearance in Wapaka County Court for an alleged rape in Iola in 1990. The Wapaka County Sheriff's Department says Gowker is a person of interest in the murders of Togstead's sister Tana and her boyfriend Tim Mumbrew in this home near Wyawega in 1992. Nobody said it's him. Hopefully it leads to whoever it is if it's not him. Don't know. Hopefully this guy has information. Maybe someone else has information. Gowker's court appearance was brief and he did not speak. The judge denied Gowker bond in the case based on the severity of the charge. The judge also barred attorneys from disclosing where Gowker is being kept while he's in the state. Gowker is currently awaiting trial on murder, rape and kidnapping charges in Oklahoma. Sheriff Brad Hardell says since charges against Gowker were announced Monday, his office has received numerous tips that investigators are following up on. Sheriff Hardell says the victim in this case is doing well these days, and while she was not in court today, he says she's pleased her case may soon be solved. In Wapaka, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. Gowker is scheduled to be back in Wapaka County Court for a preliminary hearing next week on Friday.